So it took a few minutes and it's finally installed everything and now we just press Ice Weasel, just press the keys, type in Ice Weasel, then press enter. Take a couple of seconds to boot up. And here we are. So now we can pretty much just click onto here and type in YouTube, for example. Press enter. Now it will take a few seconds to load. It's not the fastest thing, this one. I think this is quite an intensive uh, browser. But it does load up nicely. Now sometimes you gotta, there we go. So as you can see, YouTube's now loading up with all the imagery. So it does take a few seconds to catch up with everything, but I think it does a pretty good job of loading everything up. Now if we go to the search bar, Right. Sadly, I am screwing it up a little bit, but I've got rid of this down here, it's annoying me. So you do have to wait a few seconds for it to respond. It's not exactly instant, but if we go down the page and we click on something like Why We Run, which is Mirror's Edge, you can see that it's starting to load up. Obviously, YouTube's got the ads on right now to do with E3, so we don't want that right now. Yep, that's correct. We don't want that right now. Come on. But for some reason, it doesn't want to disappear because YouTube sucks at placing their ads. which is really frustrating actually because without that ad there the video would be working absolutely fine because the video worked absolutely fine the other day right, get rid of that but you can see like with a with without a pen it can be relatively hard to uh, to actually get these spots around the edge of the screen it's much easier with a pen than it is with your hand and sadly because of YouTube's crappy ad placement right now we're struggling to to get anywhere but I assure you that without E3 going on and that crappy ad being there it worked absolutely fine before um, It just seems to have froze now. But you get the gist. It does work. It can play video. It does play video well. And... Yep, oh, we sorted it. You see, it's really hard because... 
Alright, we don't want that. We don't want up next. We want to watch the video we was just watching for Christ's sakes. <sighs> yeah, with a with with a pen it would be much easier to turn these off, but with a finger it's actually quite difficult to get up there and and sort it out. I think that's just because of the placement of the uh, of the actual buttons themselves like on the screen and because you've got the plastic edge in you hit that when you're trying to get to the top of the screen it's not a huge problem and like I say it can be sort of dealt with over a um, USB mouse and keyboard if you can get one of those right we've got rid of the ad and as you can see now finally after a little bit of time It does play video, but it's really not being my friend today. Because I'm pressing all sorts of other buttons and it doesn't like it. <sighs> Frustrating. Anyway guys, you get you get the idea. It does work. It's just not working for me today. Ah, we have got some sort of video trying to play there in the back in the background on the uh, left. But yeah, it, it works, it's serviceable, there's a couple of issues here and there, and it's gone. <laughs> there's a couple of issues here and there, but YouTube works well without the crappy E3 ads. Doom works well, and hopefully I'll have some more to show you guys tomorrow. But as for now, I'm off, I'm going to go do some more game reviews, and I shall see you guys soon. Cheers.